Hi guys, welcome back. My name is Janice. Thanks for joining me today. I have some really cute neutral home decor that I want to share with you guys and I hope you enjoy this video. Let's start with the DIY number one. So I picked this up from Dollar Tree. So I'm going to take the chalkboard black paint from Dollar Tree and some baking soda to make it a little more thicker. First thing I'm going to do is remove this string and then I'm going to start painting it. And I believe I used two coats. So I didn't really measure the baking soda along with the paint. I just kind of eyeballed it and, um, you know, whatever consistency I was looking for. And I wanted it kind of thick because it is galvanized and it's slippery. So the paint wouldn't stick very well. So a little more baking soda wouldn't hurt. I was using Dollar Tree sponge brush and actually it really didn't work very well. So I do swap it out for a regular paintbrush. So I painted inside the um, half part where the opening was. It's dry. I'm going to start using the vinyl wording that I cut out on my Cricut and the word is welcome. I'm going to place it right in front. I want to decorate it so I grabbed a bunch of Dollar Tree floral and these pretty uh, sunflowers that I got from Michaels and so I'm going to play around with it for a little bit because a lot of the greenery that I have, I don't have like small little pieces um, that you could put in here or anything that really kind of hangs over. So I'm just going to use what I have. I also added some floral foam inside. This way I can place the greenery inside. If you go to Dollar Tree, make sure you pick up a couple of these. These are really great to have, especially if you have like a patio or something in the back. You could put real plants in here. All you have to do is just drill a little hole in the bottom. Just let the water drain through. These also will look really pretty if you have succulents. You could place those inside, but unfortunately I didn't have any, so I'm gonna be placing in some pretty sunflowers. To create a hanger, I just used the jute twine, added some wood beads, and there you have it. This came out very pretty. For this DIY, I'm just going to be using a Dollar Tree 5x7 frame. Dollar Tree has these really cute wall decals, they're like stickers, and I'm going to be using one that looks like a wood panel. So I'm going to remove the inside of the frame because I'm going to be painting the outside of the frame elephant gray. My inspiration came from walking around Hobby Lobby. They have a selection of all these pretty little frames, and the one that caught my eye was the one that said, Live Simply. So I'm going to paint the outside of the frame two coats of the elephant gray. Now I'm going to take this decal and I'm going to take the back end of the frame. I'm going to trace it and then I'm going to cut it out. So because it's peel and stick, I'm just going to remove the back end and just place it right over the back of the frame. Now I'm just going to place all the material back inside the frame. And I used my Cricut and came up with the word live simply. And I'm just going to place that right over the glass once everything's put together. Now, if you don't have a Cricut, don't worry. You can always use Dollar Tree letters. They have so many selections nowadays. You can just pick that up and use that. Now I did add a little bit of greenery at the bottom where it says simply and add in a little white flower in between. And I think this came out really similar to the one at Hobby Lobby and it was for, cost me what, $2 to make? And I think it came out so pretty. I 
I'm going to be using a Dollar Tree frame and some craft paper from Michaels. I'm going to be using two different types of craft paper. The first one, I'm going to take the backing of the frame and I'm going to trace it. I'm going to cut that and then I'm going to place another piece over the top. And I think this really comes out pretty. This craft paper actually has two sides to it, which I think are very pretty. Um, I got this booklet from Michaels and it has really pretty print inside. So anyways, now I'm going to take the polka dot uh, craft paper and I'm just going to take a little piece of it and I'm going to apply that right over the other print of the craft paper. So to place this down, I'm just going to be using the Dollar Tree glue. You certainly can use the glue stick or you can use Mod Podge or your hot glue gun, but I chose this route. Now I'm going to be placing down the pretty black print first and then I'm going to do the same thing with the second print and apply that right over the top. I think the color of these two craft papers are so pretty together. That's why I chose the polka dot with the um, pretty black print underneath it. So now I'm going to place it right back into the frame. I'm going to be using this little thankful sign. I believe I got this last year from Dollar Tree. Well, anyways, I'm going to place it down with some hot glue. And um, in the end, I didn't like the way the white looked on there because you really couldn't see the words. So I do paint it black. So to top it off, I'm just going to use some Dollar Tree ribbon and make three cute little bows. And I'm just going to hot glue it right to the front of the sign. And that is it. This was quick and easy and it comes out so pretty. So here's the ribbons that I came up with and now I'm just going to take some hot glue and place it in front and I think this came out really pretty. For this DIY, I'm going to be taking the Dollar Tree wood tray and I'm going to be using the white Waverly chalk paint. The first thing I'm going to do is paint the bottom of the tray with this color. So I'm going to paint the rest of the tray with antique wax. I went ahead and put some tape inside the box so the white doesn't get any antique wax on it. So I'm going to apply the antique wax and then wipe it down with a paper towel. Now I'm going to remove the tape from the bottom. A little bit of the antique wax did get on it, but that's okay. I just touch it up with a little bit of the white paint. I had to unwrap the handles with um, jute twine and just hot glue it around there. Now I'm going to be placing down that little craft paper that I used in a previous DIY earlier. And I just cut a piece out and I'm just going to bend it in the end and then cut where my finger is um, and then place it down with some tacky glue. So I'm going to place it right in the middle and it looks so pretty. There's so many things you can do with these Dollar Tree trays. I mean, it's endless what you can do with that. I mean, they're so adorable. And I came up with this idea because I want something very pretty to match my decor at home. And this is perfect. So once I have this fitted inside, now I'm going to take a couple pieces of my greenery and you could add anything inside. Um, I have some of those pretty decorative balls. So 
So I added some jute twine at the end of this um, little greenery and I think that sets it off very pretty instead of just having a plain stem showing. And this is how it came out. I think this came out so pretty. Alright, for this DIY, it's going to be a fun and pretty DIY. I took the Dollar Tree vase, a Dollar Tree hat. I thought I would try something new. I've seen so many people do this and I wanted to try it and this comes out so stinking cute. So the first thing I'm going to do is remove this ribbon around the hat. So I'm going to start unraveling the hat and then I'm going to start placing the glue down on the base and start wrapping it. This comes out high end. If you want to make something Real easy, very inexpensive, try this. So the first thing I'm gonna do is place a little glue down and start wrapping it around the base. Because of the shape of the base, um, it kind of was tricky to get it to lay flat. And then the hat, it kind of has like a curve to it. So you have to manipulate it a little bit. You know, Dollar Tree has other color hats too. I never thought of that. You know, if you don't like this color, you can try. They have pink ones, they have black ones. You can try that material as well. So now I'm just um, continuing with the glue and wrapping it. And you can see that this is wider area. So, you know, and it's slippery too. So, you know, it's challenging, but you know, I managed to get it done. And like I said, the end results are amazing. Because you can't continuously wrap it, you have to cut it and start over. So I have like an ending spot in the back. And then I start again in the same area. You can see there's a curve to it. And um, like I said, you have to manipulate it a little bit, but you know, it's workable. Now I'm at the top, so actually I'm almost finished and it was perfect. I mean, I didn't have to cut anything and it just, it was perfect. I couldn't believe it. <laughs> Usually things don't work out that easy for me. So, <laughs> so that's it. And then I'm going to cut it and finish hot gluing it together. And then I'm going to show you the finished product. Now I'm going to give you an idea of what you can do with this. You can throw any type of greenery inside. I'm just going to throw what I have handy. And then I'm going to show you the end results and how everything looks all situated. And I think this came out so high end. For this DIY, you will need some tumbling tower blocks from Dollar Tree, and I'm going to be using the Dollar Tree ruler, some wood glue, and my hot glue gun. This was inspired by another crafter called She's So Crafty. She's amazing with the tumbling tower blocks, and I wanted to give it a try. So the first thing I'm going to do is lay out two little tumbling blocks, and I'm going to start using the hot glue gun, a little bit of wood glue. I'm taking another two tumbling blocks doing the same process using the hot glue gun along with the wood glue from Dollar Tree. So now I'm going to take another tumbling tower and I'm going to place it right on top of the other one, the two tumbling towers, and I'm going to create a shape that looks like a E.
So here I have two sets of the E. Now I'm going to make two more jingle blocks and hot glue those two together because I'm going to place them right in the middle of the two E's, if that makes sense. So now I'm going to hot glue the two jingle blocks to the E's and you can see the shape that I'm making. I'm going to need four sets of these to make the uh, lantern. So I'm going to make three more off camera. So now I have a total of four for my lantern. Now I'm going to start working on the base. So I'm going to take a set of seven jingle blocks and I'll make two rows of them. Now I'm going to make one more set. So next I'm going to glue the two sets of sevens together. That's the base of the lantern and I'm going to put those together first. So now I'm going to paint the pieces of the lantern. I'm going to use burnt umber with a little bit of water because I don't want it too dark but I don't want it too light. So I'm going to do the mixture and use a paintbrush and then wipe it down. I'm going to paint both sides in and out and all around inside the window area and the base just the top of the base I'm not going to do underneath the base. All right so everything is painted and dried I'm going to take this roll that I got from Home Depot it's like a gutter screen so I'm going to take a little pieces and that's what I'm going to be covering the little window areas for the lantern. I'm going to measure how big of a square I need and then I'm going to start using some hot glue to place it down. So I found this easier to do. So I placed the screen on top of one of the panels and just holding it down and just cutting around it. And then once I get a perfect size, I'm going to duplicate that three more times for the other windows. Now I'm just going to use my hot glue gun to place these down. You certainly can use E6000 or super glue, but this makes it easier and quicker. And this is what it looks like so far and it's so cute. And I'm going to do the rest off camera just to speed up some time. Now I'm going to place everything together and start using my hot glue gun and place it on the base. I was pleasantly surprised at how well it came out. I never used jingle blocks before. I mean I've used them for you know DIYs but never to build anything and you know, this came out really pretty. And this is what it looks like, super cute. So now I need to make a little feet. I'm going to take some wood beads and just hot glue it to the bottom. I'm not going to paint them. I like them natural wood. This way it gives a two-dimensional color. I don't want it all one color. I think it breaks it up. I'm just using my hot glue gun to place them down. So you can use this for plants. You can use this for candles. I mean anything you choose. I just decided to put a little candle in there to give you an idea what it looks like. So I picked this up from Dollar Tree, they're like little LED candle and it comes like with these little crystals and this little glass jar I got from Dollar Tree. Just going to place this inside. This little light that it comes with is a multicolor type of a candle. So I'm going to place that inside, give you an idea what it looks like. Now I'm going to place another candle in there. It's like a yellow tint from Dollar Tree. And I'm going to show you what this one looks like. Like I said, you could put plants in there, greenery, anything. Um, I think it came out very pretty. And here's what it looks like.
well that's it for this video guys thank you so much for joining me today i hope you enjoyed this video and if you did please don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe until next time guys i will see you bye bye